Question, if you buy a 50 kilogram bag of cement, would you not expect to find 50 kilograms of cement in the bag? Shockingly, an incontrovertible video shows this is not the case as far as one Gambian company is concerned. You would not believe how Jaw Oil's 50 kilogram bag of cement only contains 40 kilograms of cement, despite 50 kilograms being written on the bag. 40.85. Jaw. 40.85. And the bag says 50 kilos, kilograms, just for the record. The bag says 50 kilograms. Let's turn it around so everybody can. Here it is. It says 50 kilograms, but it weighs in at 40.85 kilograms. Make sure you stay till the end as we bring you chilling evidence in the form of this video you have just seen that gives you inside of what has just been said. Before we bring you the video, you would agree that it is a general rule of thumb that if you say you are selling a certain kilo of a product, you make sure you give that same amount of kilo to the consumer that buys that product. Jaw Oil Cement, which has just been granted a special right to be among one of two Gambians that are only permitted to import cements in the Gambia, despite this move causing a great deal of poor innocent Gambians to go out of business. If you recall, the Gambian government headed by Adama Barrow had tremendously increased the tax price of imported cement to a whopping 600% just overnight without caring how this would affect poverty, as it would cause petite cement importers to go out of business. This huge overnight tax increase went from 30 dallases per bag of cement to 180 dallases per bag of cement. This led to a massive pile of trucks carrying imported cement to form a massive queue at the Gambia-Senegal border, as the Gambian cement importers could not afford to pay the huge increase, leaving them stranded. Adama Barrow decided to favor Jaw Oil Cement by giving him the entire market at the expense of the Gambian people. And now this Jaw Oil Cement might be playing tactics on the Gambian people. It is also important to note that this can be an honest mistake on the part of Jaw Oil if they can come out and apologize to the Gambia people and explain the situation. This doesn't mean we are covering up for Jaw Oil or trying to justify this act. However, the constant occurrence of the fact that lots of 50 kilogram bags of cement only contain 40 kilograms and not 50 kilograms has raised suspicions even further. Without further ado, let's just play this video we have uncovered. But first, this is a humble request to please like this video and subscribe to the African Pacific YouTube channel, a Gambian-owned channel looking into the happenings of the motherland that are often ignored by mainstream media. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at this video. Forty-nine point six. The first alarm. Forty-nine point six. From retail. Forty-nine point six. Forty-nine point six. Fifty point five. Salam, second salam back, 50.5 from Zimpex. Okay. Now, uh, Gassam. The Gassam from Zimpex. 49.35. 49.35 for the Gassam. The second Gassam is 49.2 from Jimbax. Okay, this is the this is the jar oil jar oil from Jimbax.
40.85. Yeah. 40.85. And the bag says 50 kilos, kilograms, just for the record. The bag says 50 kilograms. Let's turn it around so everybody can. Here it is. It says 50 kilograms. But it weighs in at 40.85 kilograms. The second jar oil back from Kimpex. So this is the second jar oil. 46.35. On the bag it says it weighs 50 kilos but as you can see it weighs in at 46.35 kilos okay. and then we have more jar oil from the factory we have this jar oil from the factory From this the jar oil store itself, 41.2. This is from the jar oil from the Coastal Road Junction. We just picked this one up too, as well, with the media. You can see this one is 41.20. The bag says 50 kilograms, but it weighs in at 41.20 kilograms. And then we have one more bag from the jar oil. That's 43, 43.6. We're gonna flip the bag so you can see the writing. Okay. 43.6. That's the second jar oil from the jar oil gas station and coastal road. So you can see there's no real difference between the jar oil station or the jar, the retail shops in Jimbex. You can see Salam is the closest to 50 kilograms. Uh, the first one was 49.7 the second one was 50.5 yeah 49.6 was the first salon we picked up from Jimpex the second one was 50.5 Gassem also came close to 50 but it was under but the Gassem was 49.35 the first back from Jimpex the second bag from Jimpex was 49.2. The jar oil from Jimpex, the first bag we weighed was 40.85. The second bag was 46.35. And then the jar oil from the jar oil gas station at Coastal Road, which we just picked up, uh, today's October 12th, is 3.13 in the afternoon. That one was 41.2 kilogram for the first bag and 43.6 kilogram for the second bag. So effectively, Salam actually produces 50 kilograms when they say they produce 50 kilograms. Gassem is slightly off, but it's over 49. However, none of the jar oil, either at the jar oil station or at Jimpex at the retail shops, are true to form. At the lowest, we had one that weighed 40. We had one that weighed 41. And we had a 43 and a 46 kilograms. kilograms versus the 50 kilograms that they are selling you for. So in effect, jar oil is shortchanging the cement by 5 to 20 percent. By 5 to 20 percent. And this is the issue that we're fighting for right now. Uh, we're calling on GCCPC, the Gambia Competition and Consumer Protection, to step up and do the right thing and weigh these bags of cement because the Gambian consumer is the one who's suffering because no one is getting what they paid for. Per kilogram, you're paying more for cement. Imagine you go buy cement, $380, to get 50 kilograms, but you're only getting 40 kilograms. Can you imagine that they've shortchanged you 10 kilograms? This is the nonsense that happens when there's no competition in the country and only one or two players are allowed to dominate the market. We can say that Salam, the only one that does any value add 
in the processing of the cement is the only one actually producing the right amount of cement. Jar Oil and Gassem, who import all their cement, still are cheating the Gambian people. And this is why we're here today. So I'm asking you at home, buy cement, weigh it before you use it, and see what you're getting. It's not gonna be 50. We've went to multiple locations over multiple days. None of the Jar Oil cement came close to even 47. 47 is the highest we saw. But most of them are low forces, 40, 41, 43, 46, as you saw today. So we're calling on the Gambian government, we're calling the National Assembly, we're calling on the GCCPC to step up and do the right thing to protect the consumers of this country. Enough is enough. Thank you. Your good name, sir? Momo de Job. Momo de Job. Momo de Job, I am an entrepreneur in the Gambia. I'm in the logistics industry. I do a small piece of business and I am participant of the alliance that is helping to diversify the cement that we're bringing into the country. That everyone has a right to import into this country. We should not let only one or two people do that. Especially we're in a country that we don't manufacture cement. And that's very critical. We don't manufacture cement. So everyone is important. So I am supporting the Cement Importers and Alliance Associations to, to so that they can fight for their constitutional right to be able to do business just like anyone else in this country. And it is not right that the government selected a few people to do this business. And on top of that, provide no oversight. Because that's what happened in a monopoly. There's gonna be no innovation, no oversight, and prices go up. As you can see, you're paying per kilogram. You're this is a humble reminder to please like this video and subscribe to the African Pacific YouTube channel. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. In conclusion, it is quite understandable that mistakes happen and this could be one of them from Jaw Oil. And again we are not in any way trying to cover up for Jaw Oil. However, Jaw Oil needs to take full responsibility and apologize to the Gambian people and let them know that it is a mistake. If it keeps on happening, then all proposals of it being a mistake will likely not be considered as a genuine reason. Let us know how you think as a Gambian and please keep your comments sensible and constructive. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.